current and future challenges in the public sector needs a holistic approach from different agencies. Um, and we think that data ecosystems will be the crucial enabler for these opportunities. Collaborative data ecosystems will be the main driver to make this happen. Um, we as Capgemini are our first mover in this market. Since 2015, so we are helping the EU Commission to set standards, but also to drive open data initiatives. What we also see is that in the next three years, more than 400 million EU funding will come to, to agencies to make data spaces happening. So my name is Philip, so I'm driving the data ecosystem offering for the German market. And today I'm here with uh, Oliver. So Oliver is our expert when it comes to data ecosystems um, in the public sector. So thanks for having you here, Oliver. Um, so I'm super excited to learn from you. I know that you're doing this since, since years. Uh, so the first thing I want to ask you is, so we talk about data ecosystems. What, what is it for you? Yeah, thanks for having me and thanks for bringing up this important topic. Well, it's as you say. Indeed, um, public authorities do face challenges that demand them to enhance their cooperation, also on, on a data level. Um, one example for this might be the providing of security. The world has gotten more complex and so have the threats, be it international terrorism, cyber threats or hybrid threats that could also entail some form of organized crime or state proxies. Nevertheless, the security architecture of Germany has remained unchanged according to the constitution for very good reason. Um, so th what the demand is right now is obviously that they come to a point where they can exchange data, crucial data, in a timely manner. Um, another example might be the disaster relief. Usually it's a, it's a national body which is responsible for the coordination. Nevertheless, the um, operational help on the ground is provided on a municipal level and also supported oftentimes by, by third parties like firefighters, ambulances, hospitals and the like. So you see that the, the challenges are, are, are manifold, but luckily the, the government has, um, has committed itself to the strengthening of data spaces and also formalized that in the current um, coalition treaty. Uh, amongst others, um, the, the, the agricultural data spaces mentioned there, which will be explicitly built on um, GAIA-X as a well-established platform. Okay, so that's interesting. So you just mentioned challenges. So I guess there are a lot of challenges if you want to implement a data ecosystem. So maybe can you give us some insights? So what do you do? What do you see by your clients when it comes to challenges? Yeah, thanks. Then there are many, as you might think. Well, obviously the public sector and, and all the data that they have is heavily regulated. Oftentimes a little more regulated than other industries, and this entails um, privacy issues as well as confidentiality or restrictions. So they have to have a close eye on that whenever they change uh, exchange data with others. Another another topic is that well, if you have standards in your databases or your systems, it will it it, it fuels the the cooperation exchange of data. But the public sector oftentimes does not build on standards, but but they have their own databases which were developed according to their specific needs. Um, and then lastly, maybe if you have a an overarching data management over over several organizations that well, makes it more easy to exchange data and to do something with that once it has been changed. But that's a step that the um, public government still has to take. Okay, so that's interesting. So I also know that you have already established data ecosystems with, with your clients. So what are the tips and tricks uh, we need to know to make it happen? So just can you give us some, some insights here? Well, obviously it depends on the specific client. But we oftentimes see five dimensions that are crucial. Um, the one is, as we already mentioned, the close management of a purpose of each data point. Because, as we mentioned, every point of data that is being gathered or stored by a public body is connected to a specific law that well, describes the, the purpose, the, the underlying purposes. Um, this can be done by, by metadata man management or by, by data catalogs. And having these also enables the utilization of this data once it's been shared. Um, a third point is data governance, obviously. Um, and this data governance has to be has to be lived by an organization which affects processes. And once these processes are digitized, it also enables automizations like automated um, anonymizations, pseudonymizations or hashings and the like. Um, fourth, the platform on which this data ecosystem is built needs to um, needs needs to address these specific requirements within the public sector. There, there can be confidentiality and it can be other things. But fifth and 
most importantly, I think, is the creation and communication of a joint vision. Because you don't only have to convince and incentivize other authorities to, to um, exchange their data or to make it publicly available as open data, but also citizens and the legislative bodies that represent those. But I think it's all worth the effort because it's especially the public sector which with its rich data can, can enhance well, well-being on a societal, on a um, cultural as well as on, a, on an economic level. So that benefits all of us. Okay, th thanks a lot, it's super exciting. Um, so to, just to conclude, um, so what we just have learned is, so uh, data ecosystem are really helping to improve um, services, develop new services, but also generate better insights um, in, the, in the public space. Uh, but also what we see is that it will bridge between the public and, and the non-public area to, 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 to open up new business models. Um, so what also what's, what's clear for me is so if you exchange data, you create a huge benefit for the society. And we are ready for this. We're ready for this to help our clients to make this happen, to build the data ecosystems for the private and for the, for the public space. Um, and it's just up to you to, um, to go to new frontiers and to make this happen. Um, so thanks a lot, Oliver. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your valuable insights. I'm really looking forward to see what's happening in the, in the next uh, months to come, um, how we can help uh, institutions to make this really happen. So thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.